Today is a screencast about OI Notepad. Now I'm planning a surprise birthday party for my friend Paul. Here you can see my notes. I want to remind myself to bring my mp3 player to the party. So I'm going to add a note. To do this, I'm going to click Menu, Add Note. In this note, I'm going to type whatever I want, which to, for this I'm going to type bring mp3 player. I'm going to click back to return the menu. And now I also want to save this to the SD card as a text file. To do this, I'm going to long press and click save to SD card. And then I'm going to click save. Now you can see that the most recently modified file gets moved to the top. If you don't like this, you can change this by clicking Menu, Settings, and List Sorting Order. Now you can change this to alphabetical, reverse alphabetical, or any one of the things here by simply clicking. I'm going to change it to Last Modified. I'm going to go back. Now, the text underneath the larger titles are the tags. Now you can see the one I just added doesn't have a tag. To add one, I'm going to long press and click Edit Tags. Now, the tag that I've used for some other ones are Equipment. That's why it came out. But you can type whatever you want and click OK. Tags are useful. Uh, for search, for to search for related items. Now, to search in OI Notepad, you can either click the search button, which will bring up this up here, or you can click Menu, Search. And if I were to search for Equipment, it would bring up all my tags with the tag equipment. And this makes it useful for longer lists. Now I'm going to go back. Now I also remembered that I saved a note to the SD card a while back and I want to import it. To import from the SD card you click Menu, Open from SD card. Scroll down to the bottom. Now. This is the text file that we recently created by saving to the SD card, and this is the one we want to open. So I'm going to click Open. Now it isn't fully imported yet, as you can still see the file path at the top. To fully import it, go Menu, Import. And now you can see that now we can no longer see the file path that has been successfully imported. Now, I found out that my friend wants a vanilla cake. Now that I know this information, I don't need this note anymore. To delete it, I'm going to long press and click delete. And I want to edit one of my notes, in this case the get cake for party note, and update it with the information of what type of cake. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to update it. Click back, and as you can see, it has been updated with the information. Now, I don't want some of these notes to be seen as I don't want the part to get out, so I'm going to encrypt these notes, some of these notes. For example, if I want to encrypt the Get Vanilla Cake Party note, I would long press on it and click Encrypt. Now here is OI safe, which is required for encryption. You also have to set up your master power password beforehand. For the for this tutorial, it's one, two, three, four. And click continue. And now you can see that this is encrypted and it has this little uh, lock here. But you can still see it, and this is because you're logged into your safe, if you will. To log out of your safe, click on the notification and click lock. 
you now have been locked out of your safe. So if you go back to OI Notepad, all you see is encrypted. Now, I want to quickly send my note to one of the other organizers to remind her to make sure the guests are coming. Now, I have this note right here, and I want to quickly send her a text message. So I'm going to long press and click send, and then click messaging. And as you can see, the note has been added as, as the body of the text message. And that is an overview of OI Notepad's features.